What's up guys? It is Friday, August 23rd, 2024. We're at the Bitcoin block height of 858,131. TikTok next block, another thousand blocks going on this continuous chain of Bitcoin blocks. So I am back in Las Vegas for a very short time. Uh, real quick, I um, look at this view. I had to go on the other side of town real quick. I uh, I just got my uh, got my hair cut over there, and unbeknownst to me, unbeknownst to me, uh, Donald Trump's got a rally going on down there uh, on the west side of town. I didn't even know he was here, but I didn't have time. To, I didn't have time to stop because I got a busy schedule. I'm going to California today. Ain't that ironic? Going from Branson, Missouri, to California. We got in really, really late last night because. Uh, let's just say they had they had a uh, problem on the tarmac. Our plane was parked. Sorry about the wind, guys. Our plane was parked and a truck or something hit the nose of the plane or something hit the nose of the plane, bumped the whole plane, and then we got um, delayed for three hours because they had to do maintenance on it. Um, can anybody say DEI? <laughs> Anyways, my God. All right. Anyways, Trump is in town. Oh, man, I would love to go to that rally. All my people are down there, but unfortunately I can't go. But unfortunately, I also watched Kamala Harris's uh, speech yesterday. And let me let me talk about that real quick. Now I'm gonna make two videos today. I'm gonna make this one in Vegas and then I'm gonna make another one out there in California. Oh man, I don't, I, anyways. <clears throat> so Kamala Harris, real quick. So she went on stage and she read off her teleprompter and uh, told us about her you know experiences in life and stuff and i gotta i gotta say she looked pretty good okay she they did her up well she's a nice looking woman okay i'm trying to be objective here uh she's a nice looking woman she spoke very well um obviously she was reading off a teleprompter um she she spoke well to her base right and her base is people that are that don't have a lot of uh logic and uh they base everything off feelings and their hatred for Trump and, you know, their team, right? They have a team that they, that they, that they're on. And she was talking to their team. She was not speaking to America last night, right? But she did, she did do well. But the, unfortunately for her, she had to follow up Barack Obama and Michelle Obama. Michelle Obama did much better than Kamala Harris. She's just a much better uh, speaker than her. She just is. And she's more dynamic and everything else. And, um, Thank God the DNC is over with uh, that clown show. It was it was an underwhelming thing. I heard that they were lying last night because the ratings are so bad. I heard they were lying last night about uh, who was going to show up. They said George Bush was going to show up. They were saying all these people because at the last day, because the last day is supposed to be like the culmination, you know, the, the big day. You know what I mean? But all the big speakers pretty much spoke except her. I guess Steph Curry did a video. Steph Curry. <laughs> Steph Curry and then Steve Kerr came out a couple days ago. NBA so woke, man. It was so, it was so woke. And uh, sorry about the wind, guys. But Kamala Harris uh, did pretty well. Uh, but I will give her a D minus on that thing. She didn't fail, right? She gave me a, I gave her a D minus for us. Again, sorry about the wind, guys. Uh, she didn't fail because she wasn't like completely terrible like Joe Biden. But for her constituents, she probably got a B plus or an A minus because she was speaking to them. But what she didn't talk about is a few things. She didn't talk about why the state of our union now is screwed up and she didn't take any responsibility for that. She also didn't talk about the coup her and the uh, establishment and the puppeteers pulled on Joe Biden and she didn't give any, any policies. All she talks about is Trump is bad. I'm gonna make you feel good and uh, hope and vibes you know what i mean and to me that's not anything of substance but again in order to defeat your enemy you have to know your enemy and i'm not telling you to sit there and watch cnn and msnbc all day long but you have to know where these guys are coming from if you were in a war against somebody because we are in a war against these people and it's, again it's not just democrats it's mostly democrats but it's some rhinos the establishment and these demons that we're fighting in they're all under that umbrella. People with Trump derangement syndrome, people who put uh, God last, 
in America last. These are the people that we're fighting against, guys. Okay, so don't get it, don't get it twisted. Don't fall for the Democrat Republican game, because trust me, they had a bunch of uh, Republican traitors uh, on CNN and MSNBC, and they also had them on the stage talking over the last few days with the DNC. And these people are these people are paid uh, paid shills. Then you got um, you got Anna Navarro from the View. Uh, she she claims she's a conservative. Again, there's nothing conservative about this woman. And then you got the other the pretty lady at the end on The View uh, who claims to be a, Dem uh, a, a Republican or conservative. And uh, let's just say there's no nothing conservative. And this woman can't spell Republican in my, in my book. But you got to you gotta know your enemy to, de to defeat them. Now, how do we defeat them? Because Kamala Harris uh, did, a, did a pretty good job with her constituents. She's, they got them fired up. Um, we got to inform these people. You know, we got to inform them. We got to tell them to turn off the mainstream media. We can't argue with them. And we have to uh, let them know that if you love your country, if you love God, if you love your family, um, you, you might want to consider uh, either voting somewhere else or sitting this out. But for a woman to come up there and not give you any policies at all, not give you any substance but fluff and feelings and vibes, and the other guy is bad, and telling you that we're here to protect women's rights, which they're not, because it's all projection. Everything they tell you is the opposite way, right? What do they tell you? We care about women's right, rights, except when it comes to women's sports and women being protected in the locker rooms and in their bathrooms. And also if another uh, quote unquote scamdemic happens, let's just say uh, that there's something they need to take, uh, women will not be taken off the list. They will make women do that. So. That is not a right. A woman's right is not to uh, abort a baby or kill a baby, what I like to say. Uh, that's just a uh, choice that you're making, and that's what you're going to have to do. Uh, and that's something, a choice you have to live with, and you have to speak to God about that, about having unprotected, uh, unresponsible sex, and then going out there and uh, killing your baby because you don't feel like dealing with the baby or whatever it is. And again, uh, if it's a if it's a if it's a rape, if it's incest, if it's uh, you know the woman, uh, her life is on the line or something like that. Again, I see those things, but just to be having sex out here and killing your baby because you feel like it because you're taking uh, like an aspirin for your headache. Uh, I'm not I'm not with that. And again, I'm not a woman, but uh, if I got a woman pregnant, I, I definitely wouldn't do that. But we have to understand that these people are evil and demonic and they don't want what's best for us, okay? Kamala Harris wants to tax you uh, every which way but Sunday, okay? She wants to print more money. She wants to control you by the government because again, uh, uh, inflation is a, is a hidden tax, okay? And what inflation is, it's not prices going up, guys, for those of you guys are new. Inflation is when the government overspends, they print money to balance the budget and then it's more dollars out there chasing the same amount of goods, which devalues your dollar. So if you have dollars in the bank account right now, in your savings account, and the government just decides to print more, what do you think that does for your dollars in your bank account? You know, these fresh dollars being printed uh, weakens the dollars you have in your bank account. And also what she wants to do is she wants to tax you on your unrealized gains. Okay, and I'll make a video about that, uh, which, is, which is absolutely evil. If you have a gain, if you bought something, a stock or a real piece of real estate or something every single year, whatever you gained within that year without you selling it, unrealized, meaning you're not selling it and you're not capitalizing it because capital gains means you're capitalizing on it, right? That's all I say. It's not the, the official definition, but an unrealized gain that every time the tax man comes around and says, oh, you made 10 grand or you made three grand, we need that money. And if you didn't sell it, where's the money going to come from? So again, they're gonna tax you every which way but Sunday, but they're not gonna tell you that. And this is why you need to study and understand this. You can tell your friends and family and let them know what, what time it is. And then ask them, ask them, say, hey, if, you know, I know you like Kamala, but what, what policies do you make on the team? They can't tell you. They just tell you she's a black woman, allegedly. She makes me feel good. She's gonna protect women's rights and Trump is bad. Despite all that, guys, I, I, that's 
I got to get running. This is going to be my first of two videos today, so stay tuned for that. But no matter what, we got uh, Trump here in Las Vegas, uh, which is which is wonderful. Uh, God bless him, man, and uh, keep him safe, please, Lord. Keep that man safe. Keep him safe, God, and uh, keep you guys safe too. But despite all that, as much as I love Trump, as much as I love his administration and his plans, because um, RFK Jr. Um, I thought he was going to be in Phoenix today. Now that I'm thinking about that. Because somebody told me he's here, but then they said he's going to be in Phoenix. Maybe he's coming here, and then he's going to Phoenix. I don't know. I'm talking about Trump. RFK Jr. is supposed to be uh, dropping out of the race and endorsing Trump today. We'll see what happens with that. But uh, we'll see. But despite these economic uh, games and nonsense that they're playing, these fiat games that they're playing, uh, we got a way to stop it, right? We got a way to stop it. And right now, what I'm getting ready to say it's not really a medium of exchange uh, for the most part. It's a saving technology, a saving tool uh, for your future self and your family. And it's the only way, the only way you're gonna stop inflation. And not only stop it, help you deflate and go the opposite way and increase your purchasing power. And it's the hardest money ever created. And it's the hardest money in the world. And I'm pretty sure, and I'm guessing, you guys already know what it is. It's the best way to save. And for me, the only way to save. And that's Bitcoin. I love each and every one of you, and I'll talk to you soon.